Now, this is quite an interesting conversation, a little bit post-COVID, but not quite, and uh, related to telehealth. And we worked with you, uh, well, I think you took the lead, to be fair, on working with people and consumers to be able to use telehealth well. Can you tell me a bit more about what it was you, you actually did? Oh, absolutely. So... Let me just take a step back. So we're the Peak Body for support groups. Mm. 35% of our members are um, support groups with chronic conditions. Okay. So um, early in the piece, when let's say we were at the height of COVID, as we were canvassing our members, it came to our attention that they were not going to their GP appointments. They weren't going to their pathology mm. appointments. And that raised a real red flag for us. So we knew that telehealth was out there. So we became quite inquisitive as to why were they not utilizing it? Also because we ran a program out of Fiona Stanley Hospital called the Community Link Booth. You know, we were getting data from Fiona Stanley Hospital saying that there was this absolute decrease as one would have expected at the height of COVID um, in people presenting and that they used to have quite few people with diagnosed chronic conditions presenting at ED. So that's where we looked at our engagement with yourselves, with WAFA, to see how can we work collaboratively to increase the confidence? That was the main key. How do we increase the confidence for the utilization of telehealth for our members and Mm -hmm. and try to sort of, you know, really promote it and get it out there? Mm -hmm. So that's where it sort of came from.